What up guys? With the Agave guys, I'm Manny. Love And first of all, thank you. We're 130 subscribers. Whoa! Uh, we haven't done the 100 special sub video because well, I was waiting for a special bottle to come out, mm -hmm. but one came out. Let's get into it. And we are finally gonna review Siete Leguas, Siete Decadas, which means 17 years of this beautiful tequila company making us tequila. This is the 70th, 70th anniversary. 70. Oh, 70th. Yeah, 70th. Yes. Okay. Part of my. Uh, I'm not like Mike Tyson. Uh, yeah, but you knock your shit off. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But uh, this is their special edition for celebrating that milestone. Okay. So I wanted to celebrate their milestone with our milestone of the 100th sub video. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna give you a little information. Like, oh, what the hell is this Please about? Please do. Uh, so what's so special about it? They use different kind of agave. Oh. They use, um, it's called the Siloe. Siloes? I have no idea how to pronounce it. Uh, pardon my Spanish and my French. Um, but basically, they age longer. They take 10 years to age. The smaller and ripe. More ripe. More ripe. Okay. Yeah, so like it's like good, like you know those good mangoes? No. This is basic, so like super sweet ones. Yeah. So this is a super sweet agave. Ah. It's a higher proof at 42% alcohol. Okay. Uh, they cook it for three days in the ovens, the brick ovens, instead of two days. Extra toasty. So extra toasty, so it's gonna really enhance the agave. A little crunch in the bite. Um, agave flavor. Uh, Lopi, whip it out. Let's, um, whip it out. Yeah, whip it out. Okay. Let me say, um, it was 2,300 pesos, so roughly around- $5. What? I wish. Uh, 115 to 120. I don't know how much the shipping and handling Man, it was. comes with its own brown bag for public yeah, drinking. So it comes, oh! It comes with a little uh, things. Uh, you scan this, it tells you more about the production details. Cool that. little pamphlet. It's basically the pamphlet if you scan the QR code. Whoa! Pictures up. Very good. Very cool. Came in its own little drinking thing with its logo. A1 logo. This is what the insides of this looks like. It's a cardboard tin thing. This, um... It's it, got a horse with a seven underneath it. Which is the logo. Very neat. I'm trying Ooh. to just rip it. Oh, I gotta push myself. It's like trying to peel out the foreskin. <laughs> Love it when know. Come on, baby. There we go. Thank God you don't have to fight your way out of a paper bag. Nah. I did not. <laughs> nah. Here is oh! the bottle. Wow. Is this uh oh. special this? Um it's only 700 milliliters instead of a 750. Okay. Uh beautiful, very retro. Very nice, light. very nice, um beautiful tapon. Says oh. siete leguas. Oh, man. Um, Siete Leguas, very dear to my heart mm -hmm. and to my liver. Okay. Get on. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's get into it, Lopi. Um, All right. We already talked about the look, the price. Let's get into the aroma. Our okay, let's shot. go. Um, this is my first time trying it too. Let's cause... hear the pop. Oh. Because I wanted uh, you guys to get our reaction. Because I, I had it for like a day or two. Uh, no, right. I had it for like three days. And uh, my cousin was like, oh, you haven't tried it yet? I'm like, no, nah, dude, I wanted to do it for the agave guys. How kind. High proof again. So this is 42% instead of 40. Give me that one. That one has yeah. more. Salute. Um, first, we got to smell it. Sweet agave. Sweet agave. And alcohol. Nothing more, no, no games. Straight to the point. Yeah. yeah. A little bit, I get a hint, a little bit of like a vanilla or something like that. Very, vanilla. very hint. Vanilla smell. We smell like smell. That really okay. Smell. Salud. Into Salud. that important thing. Holy crap, that is good. Wow. Holy, holy moly. Without a doubt, 
Try my favorite uh, blanco already. That was delicious. Smooth, Lope, you tell me this is 42% alcohol? I don't know. Hell no, this is smoother okay. than water, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. You're drinking some spicy water. Bubbly water, you know? Bubbly water? Yeah, I'm just uh. kidding, I'm not rich. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, I know I say basically everything's very good, but I am telling you right now, this is probably the best Blanco I had in my life. Um, this past, so this is my top three Blancos now. Tau, Blanco, uh, Los Gonzales, Blanco, mm -hmm. and now this one. Siete Leguas, uh, 70th anniversary. I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal. Smooth. Um, those mini agaves, right? The agaves, dude, they're like, oh, magnificent, like a good mango. That's what, the, that's top notch, dude. I, I'm blown away. Yeah? I'm blown away. I know what Lopi, uh, let, let's see what Lopi thinks. Yeah, it's tasty. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. I'm gonna... Good thing we have more than one bottle. <laughs> and it's fine. He, he's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> take it into bed with him. Oh yeah, I'm gonna Snuggle it up in, with yeah. it. Um, okay, let's get into the review part, Lopi. Um... The looks. The looks. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Okay. Why? It's retro, logical, simple. Nothing too crazy, nothing too hard. How about you? Bottles A1, I love this. Do you have regular Siete? Yeah, see this is the regular Siete Leguas. Basically looks the same, but longer. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Uh, it had like a little slit at the top. It's nothing too complicated, so like not too bad for like the environment. No, I mean, but like it'd be cool if like they like put a slit in the top, your big old coin holder. Oh yeah. Be a cool. Oh, that's not what this two one. Leguas? Cool, yeah. yeah, it'd be a cool coin holder. That's cool. Bottle is a bottle, tell you the truth. String is like, oh, a string. Uh, seven out of ten for me. Okay, time to get into the price. Like I said, 115, 2300 pesos. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. So, you, where you get it, you get it online. In sieteleguas.com or some special website. I don't know if they shipped to the United States yet. Um, I'm not sure you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, I find out I can talk to uh, my aunt who's really tight with the owner. And I pin the comment to let you guys know if you can get it from shipped to the United States. Yeah, we'll smuggle it. Uh, by the time this video is out, it's probably sold out. But if it's not, because um, I do see this like going up and resell, you know? Ah, uh, okay. So maybe like 200, 300 bucks. Just because it's the 70th anniversary. Yeah, uh, uh huh. And this is the first lot. Saying that, you pay 115 for like the best Blanco, best anything, mm -hmm. deserves whatever price they ask for, so I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10. So if it was like 500 bucks? Cause I'm an alcoholic, yes. <laughs> 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 All right, so price wise, 150. Uh... 115. 115. Yeah, 150, I mean, I know. That. You still would be like, All right, I'll be like. Like those guinea pigs drinking that water. <laughs> <You> just <laughs> big fart. Hell yeah. Uh, 115. Fair, I guess. Yeah. For uh, 70th anniversary. I'd say that's fair. Uh, seven as well. Okay, Luff is giving it average, average, average. But let's get into the most important part of this tequila review. Mm -hmm. The taste. Like I said, there's three Blancos in for my top three. Mm -hmm. Number one, this guy. He, he, he just got the number one seat. Okay. He jumped down. Number two is Los Gonzales. This guy, uh, Blanco, the Mexican one because they don't make it in America. Number three is Tau, which I don't have a bottle here. Uh, Tau Blanco. Shame on you. I have a hat though. So. That's um, the worst. But like I said, dude, this is the best Blanco I had in my life. And Damn. it's 42%. Usually I like him a little sweet at 38%, which is the Mexican release. But like this is probably top notch Blanco. I don't. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 for me because it's the best Blanco I had in my life. Um, shout out because it's from Matatunilco, which is awesome in my opinion. And I, I'm not even being biased about that. I mean, this is good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, how about you, Lovely? Yeah, it's pretty tasty. One of the better things I've tasted. Um, very uh, tasty. I would drink more, but we have to drive home. <laughs> I read it. Uh, 
very light. Very super light for me. Yeah. Forty-two percent alcohol. It's pretty light. Super it's light. It's flavorful. Uh, if you let it sit on the tongue, it's a very minor burn. It's very nice. When you hit it back immediately, it gets the throat, but nothing awful. I've had pretty bad throat burns from poor end quality tequila, but that's a pretty high end. I'll have to give it a nine. That's coming from Lopi, who doesn't like tequila at all. No, not really. Um, final review. You guys already know I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I have no complaints. What's like, the one, if it's cheaper, yeah, cool. But what they're charging, it's fair, it's valid. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Price A1, bottle A1. Tequila A20. A20. Yeah. Whoa. It's she, as the kids say. She. <laughs> okay, Lovey, what's your final review on this product? I would have to give this an 8.5 out of 10. That's, I mean, yeah, that's valid. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for sticking with us uh -huh. through the milestone. Hopefully, you're with us when we keep climbing. And to another hundred more subscribers, let's go! Let's go to another hundred. Comment below what you want us to review. This is the best Blanco I had in my life. Maybe they make another one and take the spot. But overall, top notch. Mm -hmm. Very uh, Thank you. And this is Manny. This is Knockoff Peter Griffin. Ciao.